So Obama looks right into the camera and tells the world with a smirk on his face that Christians in America think he's the Antichrist. Doesn't deny it, doesn't refute it. It's got that all-knowing smirk on his face like, I know I'm the Antichrist, but I know that you can't prove it, and I know that I'll make you look like a bunch of tinfoil hat-wearing fools for thinking that I am. And see, sadly, only a few of us understand who he is. And this is how I think the whole thing is playing out. I think Obama has been putting a wedge between Christians in this country, making Christians hated in this country. And I think this is the final nail in the coffin, because I think he's going to use this when he becomes the all-powerful, the almighty one on earth and takes over as the ruler of, of, of the whole world, the future Antichrist. I think he'll rule from the UN. I think that he will use that to go after Christians here in America, now Obama land, and the world by saying, these people think that I'm the Antichrist. You guys know that I'm your savior. I'm your God. I'm your Lord. I'm the one who leads you to the paths of righteousness, is what he'll be saying. And the world will turn against Christians, and their teeth will gnash against the Christians that are left behind and hate them and want to slaughter them. And sadly, most of the church will be among that group because very few Christians are ready to go to heaven. Most are backslidden, and they refuse. They're too cocky, haughty, proud, and arrogant to believe what the Bible says. And at least 250 scriptures that I've found it says you have to repent of your sins after you're saved, or you won't step foot into heaven. So many things about the Antichrist, so many keys. I've got 676 things right now that prove, including every scripture, who this man is. People believe what they want to believe. My job as a watchman is to warn you, I won't be here when it takes power. But sadly, again, most Christians out there will. I'm being censored like crazy on YouTube. Facebook's already shut me out. Can't get on there anymore. Just a matter of time until YouTube kicks me off. The Lord's in charge. He'll let me be on YouTube as long as he wants me to. He'll, he'll take care of everything, but I'm just telling you, time is short, my friends. And after I'm gone and the rapture of our catching your way or through death, Obama's going to take down my ministries and any good true Christian ministries because he's already got control of the Internet, gave it to the UN, which is where he's going to rule the world from until America, the great whore of Babylon, gets destroyed. Then he'll go to the temple in Israel, desecrate it, and rule from there in Jerusalem. My friends, time is truly short. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below the video, and no one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. Christians, your job is to witness and pray for the lost daily. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are great, and look up, our different draw off nigh, we fly soon. You guys take care of yourselves. Help me share the word, and please wake up, and please stop listening to all the fake, false teachers and prophets out there. Trust the Bible. It's the only true source of information. Bye.